there are three ways to start with Design Appy. You can begin from a photo, you can use a template, or you can start from a blank wall and add tile to it. First, we're going to show you how to draw a tile. You'll select a new project, and you'll enter in your project name and a folder name so you can organize it. Then when you enter in a ceiling height and wall width, shape of tile, size of tile, and its pattern, you will have an automatically generated to scale pattern that you can crop. Once you leave that window and you enter into the design window, you can pull objects from the menus and they are already saved into size. You can use a blank wall to create areas that have no tile. Each object that you're working with in the program can be measured so that you know you're ha you have the right size. You can take and create full layers of color and use the color tool to create differing layers of transparency and then you just send it back and it'll cover up your tile and that's how you will color your tile. So this object, we'll select the object first. and then hit the measure tool. And you'll see that it'll give you the size of that object. So at the top, we're gonna select the blank area, hit measure, and then back out the 29 inches and make it a full 30 inches. And now you have 30 inches of area above the tile that will be blank. The next screen will allow you to dimension items that are important, like the height of the tile on the wall, if there's a niche, how, at what point you will have your light fixture on the wall so that you can have those items planned and detailed out before the project starts. You can also draw on the screen in this phase. Next will be the specification. You can customize the specification by entering your own logo and then you can email it. So we're going to start from a photo. You can either take a picture live on the device or you can use a image from your camera roll. You will get to crop it and then enter in what the height and the width is of the image that you just put in so that everything can be added to scale. Then you can go even into your camera roll and add objects that you've pulled off the internet. You just background remove it, which is included in the program. And with everything that you enter into the program, you will be asked, what is the size of this item? And do you wanna save it into a library on the device for future use? So after you tell it what its height and width is, and if you want to save it, then you can quickly add them into photographs. If you want to start from a template, the rooms on the left are where the templates are located. You'll pick which one you want to use, download it, enter in. If you want to change the size, it'll change the look of the template, but it'll give you something to start. And when everything is accepted, you ungroup it and then each one of the objects will be movable. This is how you measure things in Design Appy. You touch the object, then the measure button will appear, and then when you touch the measure button, you'll get the keypad. And the keypad will allow you to change the numbers located around the object you selected. The menu objects are all transparent, black and white outlined objects on the left side. Each one of those items can be modified with the use of the tools on the right. You can change layers, you can group objects, you can duplicate objects, you can change its color, you can add text, you can flip it or mirror it, you can pull items from your camera, you can undo anything that you need to correct, you can create a tile object on demand, you can draw on the screen, and you can throw anything away with the trash. The color function will allow you to add color to the items from your menu. You can adjust its transparency, you can adjust its shade, and if you need to, you can just type in the hex code of the color you'd like to use. 
Any color that is used in a design is saved in your swatches. A tile object is a smaller batch of tile that you might want to use like an accent band or a backsplash in a kitchen. And you just explain what height and width you need and which tile pattern you want and to what size. And it'll automatically prepare it for you. You can add transparency layers over the top of it to change the color. When you're coloring tile, you will select the floating layer that you add in and then you can just adjust it with the color wheel. You can look at all of your options and determine what color you'd like to use. The photo function helps you to add objects from your camera roll and from the internet into the program. You'll be able to crop the image, background remove the object, and then save it to scale in your library if you choose, and then have it available for any future project. You can delete them as you don't need them.